Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we will see how you can access your private applications which you have deployed in AWS Fargate containers using API Gateway private link. So for this, we will follow this setup. If you see here, we will have a VPC. We will have public subnets in that VPC. We will provision net gateway in those public subnet and we'll create private subnets. The network load balancer which we'll create in private subnet. The containers will deploy in the private subnet and the containers will access ECR to download its image using net gateway. Then we'll create AWS private link and we will configure API gateway so that user can access your container through API gateway. So the first thing which we'll do is we'll prepare our setup like VPC, our private and public subnets and we'll provision net gateway. So log into your AWS, go to VPC. Under VPC, I already have a VPC created here. VPC 0582, this one, over CIDR range 168.0.0. And under that, I have subnets, four subnets. Two subnets are private, private one, private two. These are private subnets. And subnet pub and subnet two pub, they are public subnets. If you click on these private subnets in the route table, it allows connections only from within VPC and private to also. Whereas in public subnet, we have internet gateway attached. So both the public subnet can communicate with internet. Now here, private subnets, if you see this is a route table, 0D59 and another private subnet also. So both are going through the same route table. We'll go to that route table. 0D59 this one and if you see it doesn't have routes to go to internet for that we will provision a net gateway first create net gateway we'll name it as net gateway 1 and we'll select one of the public subnets so let's say this one I will select and we have to allocate an elastic IP and create net gateway it takes little time to provision net gateway now it is ready and available and you can see elastic IP is attached to it. It has got its own private IP as well. Now we will go back to route tables and we will create routes in private subnet to go through this net gateway. So edit, add route. So it can go to any IP using net gateway, this one and save changes. So now we have configured our private subnet route to send traffic through net gateway to internet. Now for our setup, we have VPC, public subnets, private subnets, and net gateway. So we'll provision our ECS Fargate container. We'll deploy that. Let's go to ECS. And I'm assuming here that you already have your container uploaded in ECR where it will be downloaded and run in ECS cluster. First thing we'll do is create task definition. Create new task definition. Fargate, next step. And here we'll provide details. We will give some name, role, and task memory. I will give the minimum. We'll add container details, container name, and image. So this will be the ECR URL. There should not be any space in the name. And this is my ECR's link from where image will be downloaded. Port mapping, it will be 8080 for my container. Then command to health check, space is command. So it will look for health at 8080. Interval 5, timeout 5, start pair, leave it, retry is 3, and rest of these I will leave as default. And here also, rest will be left default and then create. So the task definition is created now, article PVD, and we'll create cluster now. Now, before creating cluster and the service for ECS container, we will actually create NLB load balancer first because when we create service, we can configure the NLB along with that so we'll go to ec2 target groups we'll create the target target group first we'll select ip addresses target group we'll name it as nlb private group it will send communication on 8080 select the vpc health check we'll do at http link slash whatever endpoint for your container you can configure that and next create so target group is created now it's not associated with any load balancer yet. Now we'll create load balancer and then attach the target group to it. So create load balancer, network load balancer, create, give it a name. We'll keep it internal, select VPC, select availability zone. And within that we'll 
select private subnets now listener 8080 again so we'll, the traffic will flow on 80 port and we'll select our target group and create load balancer this will take little time to provision the load balancer okay it took some time to provision network load balancer but it is now active and up so we can go to ECS and create our service cluster create cluster select network only give it a name I will not create VPC because I already have VPC and subnets view cluster status is active so we'll create a service in it now Fargate operating system Linux task definition so we have created this one article PVT and service name will be something article SVC that's what I am giving number of tasks one rest I will leave default here next step cluster VPC select the VPC subnets because I want to keep them in private subnets I will select private subnets here security group to attach to the containers I already have an existing security group which will allow traffic from within the VPC save health check and under load balancer type I will select network load balancer it automatically shows the uh, load balancer which we created and container name port is already there so we will add to the load balancer production listener port we will select the one which is there target group name is already selected health check path it should show the endpoint which is exposed for your container health for me it is slash next step next you can review your changes and then create service view service it will take few minutes to start the task I will pause and will connect again it is provisioning the task now it has changed the status to pending now the status has changed to activating now okay so finally the task status is showing as running if I click inside task the health status is also healthy so we'll go back to load balancer and see whether it has registered successfully with the target group so go to target groups NLB private group so it is still showing healthy zero and it has started the health status if you see here it will take few seconds maybe sometime few minutes to register with the target group okay it took more than couple of minutes to get the health status now it is healthy and the container is connected to load balancer we have our VPC our network load balancer our containers all ready now we'll move to this part and we'll create a private link and API gateway one more thing here it is showing these two things are in separate VPC but for my demo purpose I'm keeping all the resources in the same VPC so go to AWS API gateway click on VPC links create VPC link for HTTP APIs this is what I will create home give some name choose VPC and here in the subnets so make sure you choose private subnets and select a security group which allows the comms now I will select this one which allows comms from within this VPC on port 8080 actually all the ports create and this VPC link is created now we will create API HTTP API build give it a name and review and create so API is created we will add routes create we will add a get route for home we will create some more routes one other get route for my endpoint articles we will create another post route for article and we'll create one delete route for article we will just edit this delete route it should be slash with an ID 
so you created these routes and now we will attach integration for that we will create an integration integration type should be private resource select manually and alb slash nlb so we will select our nlb load balancer listener tcp8080 and under vpc link we will choose the vpc link which we created so we will create so it is created and attached similarly we will attach the integration with other routes with delete and with this get so our API is configured now now here under deploy stages by default it is deployed and you can invoke API gateway using this URL so we'll copy this and we'll use postman to test so we'll go to postman and I've already created some of the calls for get post and delete so this is the first call which will try to access the home page so we'll click send and it returns welcome home page status 200 next is we will like to access slash articles to see all the articles published by my container so we'll send this request and you can see it has returned the results we can try to create a new article where I will provide body something like this I can change it to say 4 and then send and we can run the articles again to check the output and you can see here the new data is added we can even invoke delete so let's say I want to delete the one which I added send status is 200 we can check all the articles again and it's gone so we have got the setup ready and we tested it using postman you can actually deploy your container in private subnets and access through API gateway I hope this helps you to understand how this works thank you for watching the session and we'll see you in next one